So after um, miles of walking and training, I wanted to show you how Nala's doing um, walking on a leash. And here he is right here. Um, he used to pull like crazy. Now he's um, watching me, good boy. Now he's watching me and um, walking on a kind of a loose leaf. Not as loose as I'd like it, but um, he's uh, doing much better. Now let's sit. He still doesn't listen. That's a beagle in him, I guess. <laughs> But eventually he will. Now, sit. Good boy. Good boy. That's a boy. All right, let's go. Now, he used to, if you've seen him when I first got him from the Pound or Humane Society, um, he's a totally different dog walking now. Um, and a lot, a lot of that is attributed to... Uh, positive training. I first started doing turnarounds, which is, uh, you know, you see that on the internet a lot for training dogs to uh, not pull. And that helped, helped a lot, but what really made the difference was uh, the stop and click training that I got from the, from the Petco class that we've been going to. So how, what that, how that works is, if your dog starts pulling, you simply stop, and then if he turns around and releases, relieves pressure on the leash, you give him a click and a reward. At this point, um, I'm not so much giving him, um, giving him treats, although I start, used to give him treats a lot. I'm just kind of giving him a good boy. Um, and I try and watch him so that if he turns and looks at me like that, good boy, good boy, I give him a good boy because he's checking to see where I am and where he is in relationship to where I am. Anyway, he's doing well. Uh, bye.